What's up guys, Cody here, back with another Ethereal video, this one taking a look at the myth I am most excited for, Leia, the heir of the jungle. I'll be mainly focusing on information regarding gameplay and glossing over lore for her. Leia will be a melee magic based Sky Slayer. For those that don't know, the Sky Slayer class will have the ability to traverse the map via flight using their wings, a useful ability to have in Ethereal where there is a large aspect of verticality. As of right now, we have been told that this class ability will probably be tied to a stamina bar of sorts. For Leia's kit, they released a bit of information that gives us some insight. The air of the jungle is not to be trifled with. Don't take her lightly. She can dominate with graceful force, darting through the air, quickly maneuvering around the map. Use her passive ability effectively to amplify her other abilities, unleashing potent additional effects that can critically alter engagements. Leia's crowd control support and mobility quickly provide aid where needed, possibly giving her team the advantage in a battle balanced on a leaf's edge. So from this we can see that Leia is going to have some sort of dash that may or may not be only accessible in the air. There's a lot of reference to her having extra mobility in this, so she might have some type of speed up in addition to the dash. Her passive sounds very similar to Pantheon's passive from League of Legends, where after so many abilities and autos, next ability would be empowered and she's going to have some type of crowd control i'm assuming that when they say crowd control they mean hard crowd control so a root stun a knock up leia has a big nature theme going on with her so it wouldn't be surprising to see the ability be actual roots coming out of the ground and rooting the enemy it would also make sense for the ability to be some sort of magical blast from her spear that stuns enemies we do have the icon of her right click ability all the Myths right click abilities in the game are going to be strong but have downsides to using them. For instance, the example that we have that is going to be in the game is Dante's right click, which is going to be a rapid fire attack, but it's at the cost of being unable to attack or use spells afterwards for a short duration. For Leia's, we don't have too much insight as to what it could be. A good guess from the community right now is that it's going to be a move speed increase with decreased move speed afterwards, essentially, you know, a butt rank W. This would make sense as it does fit in with the description of Leia's kit. And in addition to that, it was an example that Undying Games gave for what a Miss right click ability could be. So they could have just taken that example from Leia. For Leia's ultimate, we only have her voice line to go off of. We blossom as one. The phrase we blossom as one definitely makes her ult sound like it will be some type of team wide AoE buff. I'm guessing something more along the lines of defensive buff, so either giving resistances, restoring health, granting bonus health, or even giving extra move speed. If Leia's ultimate gives move speed, she's going to be a very scary myth to go up against, especially when paired with the rest of her kit. So where will Leia fit in? Almost everyone has immediately relegated her to the jungle, partially because of her title, Heir of the Jungle, but mostly because people in the community think Sky Slayers will only be viable in the jungle role. This is where I'm reminded that community members don't really understand how high-skilled gameplay and MOBAs work. As a high level support main in League of Legends, I'm almost definitely sure that Leia will be an extremely strong tank support. She has CC, she's going to have a gap closer and a dash of some sort, potential move speed abilities on top of that, and more than likely utility ult. These things make for a really good support with the abilities to pick off opponents along with having the mobility to quickly roam around the map and impact other lanes, made even easier by the fact that she's a Sky Slayer. So yes, she will be viable in the jungle, but I'm going to be taking her down in the support role and I'm going to be smacking people up with her. Now for items on Leia, I'm not going to go too in-depth. Unless she has really good ratios for magic power, I don't see her going a mage type of build. If she does, I doubt a mage type of build would be viable in the support role. When it comes to tank items, there's also a lot of flexibility for what you can buy based on your opponent and how the game is going, so I'm not going to give a full 7 item build of that either. However, there are items that you will be building no matter what, so I will be going over those. For jungle, you pick up one of these two items, Mark of the Sentinel Hunter for tank, and Mark of the Elemental Predator for a full-on damage build or bruiser build. From there, you'll just buy as needed. For support, Cursed Gift is a must-have. It's the best artifact item in the game for tank supports. For boots, you'll more than likely pick up reinforced boots or reinforced shoes. Extra move speed to roam around the map is extremely valuable on top of a kit that already gives a lot of moves. And then you'll get one to three of the defensive masks for supports. 
Hero's Mask gives everyone around you extra move speed and stats, pairing very nicely with Leia's kit, and if Leia's ultimate gives more move speed, then Hero's Mask is just a double whammy. Paladin's Mask makes everyone around you take reduced damage, which once again might pair very nicely with her ultimate if her ultimate gives bonus health, extra health, or defensive stats. You can chain Paladin's Mask before, after, or during that type of ultimate to make your team extremely tanky. Either way, Paladin's Mask will still be good on her in the support role, even if her ultimate isn't a defensive bonus. Lastly, Guardian's Mask is just a useful mask in general. It doesn't have any combos with Leia's kit, but the ability to remove a stun or a root from an ally can just be game-changing in a fight. After the mask, once again, you'll build tank items as needed. One item I would keep my eye on though for her would be the Gauntlet of Fear. Leia's ability to get on top of opponents with ease allows her to utilize the Gauntlet of Fear very effectively, as trying to CC her once she's on top of you or an ally just causes you and your team to take more CC. So that's going to be it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, throw me a like and subscribe to my channel for more Eastworld content. As a reminder, I do stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash cw5136, link in the description below. You can find me over there currently playing League of Legends and dominating in the support role. So feel free to stop by, give me a follow, and talk to me and ask me questions about the game or why I'm doing certain things. I'd be glad to answer them and to have you in the chat. So thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.